Now that our prod is attached, we're going to be making a string. Now, I'm going to be building a permanent string for this bow out of Dacron. But for right now, we're going to build the initial string out of paracord. You could use paracord as the finished string. And on a bow like this, you may want to do that because the way it works, it really wears strings down fairly quickly. And so having them made out of paracord, you can easily make a bunch of strings and take them with you. And when the string starts fraying, it's not a big deal. Just take the string off, put a new one on. And on that topic, I'm also going to show you guys how to make a very simple rope stringer for this bow so that you don't have to really struggle trying to string it. It's fairly straightforward. But first, we're going to make our string. So you want to take one end of your paracord and you want about, let's say, a five to six inch loop. And then tie an overhand knot. You just bring it over, around, and then through. And then that should slide over the tip of the limb here. So now, you want to put it into the knock, and then bring the string over to the other knock. Stretch it a little bit. And then right where this is, right where the other knock is, you want to reach back and then tie another loop. Now this string may end up a little long at first, but we can just tie knots into it until it is the proper length. That way there's less guess or that way we have a good idea of what we're doing without having to do a lot of measuring. So now you want to slide this string down onto this limb and pop that, I'll turn it around, and then pop this into this knock. It's looking good so far. I'm just going to take a knife and cut this loose end. There it is. So now we're ready to string this bow up for the first time. To do that, we're going to build a rope stringer. So I've got some rope here. When you're picking rope, you want something that is very wide, a larger diameter rope. This is a half an inch diamond braid rope, very soft. You want something that's soft and it's going to be easy on your limbs, especially if you paint your prod. This is going to keep from scraping off all your paint every time you string the bow. And you'll see that the recurves come in handy when doing this. So you want to make one loop and you want it to be about a foot long. Just go ahead and give it a simple overhand knot. And that will give you about a six inch finished loop. Now, what you want to do is slip that over one recurve, bring it back around over the butt of the stock, and over to the other side here. You can see what we've done. This is going to be used to string your bow. So now from here, you want to make a, a judgment, grip it about a foot, like we did the other one, a foot, and then just guess, we're going to, we can tie knots in this as well. So go about two to three more inches down. Take this end. tie a knot and again we want about a six inch finished loop okay now you just take this end here and cut it loose let me take a little doing here Woo. okay now you take 
your stringer, hook it up on the bow, string the prod, you want to figure out which loop is larger, that would be this one, so you want to put the smaller loop over the side that has the string on it already, and I suggest you have the loose side on your dominant hand because you're going to need to manipulate it a little bit. You take the rope, bring it around the front of the tiller here, or the top part, and bring the other loop to rest in this recurve. And you just kind of want to pull this back a little bit. Now that your crossbow looks like this, put your foot in the stirrup, make sure the ends are in the recurves, and lift. And now, bring your string across and it won't reach. Well, that means you need to take this down, just pick a side, tie a knot. Now that your knot's tied, slip it over the recurve again, make sure they're both out at the recurves, and then with your foot in the stirrup, draw back and up. Set it onto the, the back of the stop, and still too short. But you get the idea. So I'm just going to keep tying knots until the string is the proper length. Alright, there we go. So you finally get this loop onto the prod. Once your string is in the knock, put the cord down. There we go. And my brace height's kind of high, but you just want to push up. That will stretch out the string. We want about a four inch brace height. So just pull back on it so that the string will settle into its final length there. There we go. And so it's looking pretty well balanced. So now we can go ahead and string it up for the, or pull it back for the first time. Make sure to put your safety on, that's important. Put your foot in the stirrup and draw the bow back. And there it is. And the tiller looks pretty good on this too. So now you just want to gently draw this back and bring it down. There it is. So now you could leave this string like this, and this will make a, a pretty decent string, easily replaceable. But I'm also going to show you guys how to make a nice Dacron string for this. Now that we've got the string on it, I'm just going to give it a little test shot. Put the safety on, put your foot in the stirrup, spin it back, drop your bolt in, then release the safety, there we go. I just went ahead and weighed this. The prod is pulling 110 pounds right now. It'll probably drop about five pounds once it's broken in and settled down. So a little over a hundred pounds on this one. Here it is.
To make a new string, we need to take this string off. So you just want to do the same thing you did when you put it on. Take your stringer, and I ended up having to tie three knots in this one. But once you've got your stringer on here, you want to actually bring it back. I'll move back a little bit so you can see. Bring the edges back to the center of the recurves. And draw it up. Set it on here. Take your string off. And then drop it back down. All right, so now that the string is off, we have a good template and we know how long to make our Dacron string. Especially now that this nylon string is stretched a little bit, we know the, a good length to start to put on this bow. And this string was actually a little shorter than I expected, so we can make our string a little bit longer than this. But generally you want to copy this length now that you have a good reference. It's also a good idea, now that you know the length of your stringer, make a couple more just like it in the same length and keep it with you. That way, if you're out shooting and the string starts looking like it's frayed, you can take it off before it breaks, switch it out. And it's always a good idea if you're going to store this for a prolonged period or if you're going to keep it in a hot car, unstring it first. That way you won't have any surprises later on. But here it is.